my foot. I know how to start this video. Hey guys, how are you? How's the kids? You don't have kids? Great. Or maybe you think you don't have kids right now, but your past is kind of questionable, and you have no idea who may be knocking on your door in the next 18 years. Woo! <laughs> this video started off great. So a person on Tumblr sent me a message. You already know what direction this is about to go. Pretty much saying that as a gay male, I am not making enough videos that cater specifically to the gay community. A good portion of my video should be properly addressing that aspect. I don't know. What exactly? I would read the message to you guys, but one, I deleted it because it was messy. The person didn't seem like English was their first language. And two, I don't want to give them that promo. Long story short, they thought I wasn't making enough gay videos. And because of that, I was trying to fit into a normal society. Who I sleep with totally controls what I do in life. And you know what? That person is very right. There aren't enough gay videos on the internet. And don't Google that unless you are above the age of 18. And you know what? It is time for us to change that. And you guys are gonna do it. All you little peepers out there have the opportunity to add on to the dumb ball of gayness on the internet. And I'm gonna show you how. So today I'm gonna teach you how to make a gay video. But first, I have student loans. So let's get to this sponsor. So I've talked about this app before. And if you are not new to this YouTube life, you already know what it is. This video is sponsored by the one and only Best Fiends. It is a free adventure puzzle game where you collect and build teams of fiends, hence the name of the app. Band together to defeat slugs by matching same colored objects. And as I've just been told, they're actually introducing their 30th fiend named Pop into the game this month. Now, I have been in love with this game since I found out its existence last year. And as you guys know, I was extremely addicted to it. And when I get addicted to a game on my phone, it's not just a normal, oh, I'll play it before I go to bed addiction. It's like, oh, I'm just gonna play it for a few minutes, let the time pass. But then I get stuck on a level. Two hours pass. And all of a sudden, I miss my class. Huh. <laughs> That didn't happen. I was just late. Then it got taken off my phone and I had to do a factory reset. And I just re-downloaded it a month ago and I'm already back on that addiction train. I am currently stuck on level 73. You can also connect the game to your Facebook to see the progress of your other friends, and to compete against them for spots on leaderboards and all that stuff. It makes the game even better in my opinion. Because all of a sudden now you're sending life-threatening messages to your friends telling them to slow down because you're stuck on level 73. And also this month, Best Fiends is introducing the Granny Slug in a mini game. Those guys that want a bigger challenge. It's probably not me right now because I still can't get past 73. You can download the game for free using the link in the description. You also get $5 worth of gold and diamonds that can be used for the game. You use that link as well. Now back to the video. So a few minutes ago I made a tweet. Follow me by the way. What makes a YouTube video gay? And y'all thought you were funny. I mean you were, but you still thought it. You. When Mac does one. America. True. Uploading it. I get it. But this person. This person got it. This person woke. Rainbow. Exactly. Gays equal rainbow. Put a rainbow in a video equals gay video. So step one of how to make a gay video, and probably the only step, unless I think of something else, add rainbows. Boom! Pow! Is he gonna put on more? Yes, he is. Okay, Mac, we get it. Okay, Mac, you make me very uncomfortable. I can't hear you. I'm too busy. Gagging. <laughs> I get it, because there's rainbows in my ears. Uh, I'm a homosexual. Every video you make doesn't just can be gay. It has to be gay. You wanna make a DIY on how to make a braided basket? Bam! More like braided gay skit. Gay basket. Gay basket. That sounds like a good TV show for Logo. Or how about just a simple innocent story time of how an Uber driver almost killed you in a fire? Kablow! More like story gay I'm. You know that feeling when you try on a joke so much and it just falls flat? So gay! And now from this point on, whenever you start a video, you have to introduce yourself in a very gay and relatable way. Or as I like to call, gay latable. Like for example, Hey guys, how are you? Great, that's awesome! I just got back for protesting for literally my humane rights to live and eat and sleep and even breathe. Oh my God, same! And there you have it. You have just created your very own gay video. Now go out there and show the world that your sexuality is all that matters. Cause you can be a really good doctor, a really great lawyer, or have the cure for cancer. But no, once you come out as gay, all people care about is who are you dating? Or will you go shopping with me? And that is how the cookie crumbles. 
I'm not who I date. Just because I don't make videos of what I like in guys or story times about my ex-boyfriend does not mean I'm hiding who I am. I don't feel like I have to scream I'm gay from the rooftops every day to be a successfully functioning homosexual. I mean, I kind of already do that, but you know what I'm trying to say. Everyone is more than their sexuality. And one's sexuality should not be the defining point on what they give in this world or how they function in life. And it shouldn't be your defining point on that person's character. Oh my God, we just got deep. But anyways, I'm gonna go take all these stickers off and eat a burrito. I'm hungry. Thank you guys so much for watching. Download Best Fiends, go check it out. What's your favorite rainbow? Mine's my face. I am Mac. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, babe. Bye!